Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a huge thumbs up, comment, and share. And turn on those post notifications so you do not miss my next video. By the time of this video, I am giving you an update on my UAE procedure from last year. If you're watching this video, today is Wednesday, August 17th, 2022. Tomorrow will be one year that I had my UAE procedure in regards to Jimmy. So here's an update on Jimmy. Jimmy is still existing. I recently got a ultrasound to see the progress of Jimmy. And at first the procedure worked very well. I had good results. However, that only lasted about a month. My periods went back to being as heavy as they were post-surgery. So you ask yourself, what's the next step? So I am actually here to tell you guys that today, Wednesday, August 17th, I am actually getting a full hysterectomy done. Full hysterectomy, including my cervix, will also be removed. And this will be to eliminate any of the symptoms that I have been having due to my heavy periods. Not only that, I do have a fibroid. My fibroid is still very existing, which his name is Jimmy. He stopped growing, but he is measuring 4.5 centimeters, which if you think about it, it's half of what he was measuring last year. Last year, he was measuring 10 centimeters. So it's a little bit more than half of what he was measuring last year. You ask yourself, why a full hysterectomy? Why are you going that route? Well, one, I don't plan on having any more kids. I did get my tubes tied, or not even tubes tied, but I got the procedure done that is called Esher, and that is where they insert coils in your fallopian tubes, and it blocks any sperm from penetrating and you ultimately getting pregnant. So I did that in 2017, and fast forward to now, my youngest is 15, my oldest is 19, and I do not plan on having any more children. I am done. The factory is closed. So with that being said, my next step would be a full hysterectomy, and that will help me, again, avoid any of the symptoms that I've been having, which is heavy menstrual cycles. I get migraines, bloating, but most importantly, I feel labor pains every month, and that is because of my condition, which is the fibroids that I do have, which cause that. So I will be having the full hysterectomy. They're going to do this via C-section. I know. You ask yourself, why via C-section, right? Me too. I had both of my kids, natural childbirth, vaginal. I never experienced a C-section up until now. And I have a little bit of mixed emotions. I don't know what to expect. I don't know how it's going to be. I asked my sister because she did have a c-section so i did ask her how that would be and then you know you you're curious so you ask away or you ask women you know any pointers for c-section for the recovery and healing process but as we all know every woman's body is different right my tolerance for pain is very high so i don't foresee having any pain issues but you never know because again i am gonna have a c-section and it's my first time so i don't know how my body is going to take that i am expected to be in the hospital two to three days and my recovery will be eight weeks i do have a good support system i have my parents i have my two kids i do have my boyfriend i have my sister my brothers my sister-in-laws and then extended family and church family as well that will be here to support me in any way possible of course and above all i will have god who will be with me in every step of the way i am confident that everything will go well and that my recovery and healing process will be as speedy as possible and that i will be back to my normal self very soon again it will be one year to date tomorrow which is august 18th let me show you guys what i look like now and keep in mind i have been working out i do have a peloton bike i have been doing workouts on my peloton bike i have been doing other workouts um, on top of my peloton bike you know to help me to help my body prepare for the recovery process um i do know that being healthy and staying healthy really does help with the recovery process. So I tried to do that two months prior to me going into surgery. So I started my Peloton bike I got in February, but I was consistent for 60 days plus. Um, I did stop in between only because I was feeling really exhausted. I um, continued a day here and may skip a few days, but needless to say, can't wait to get back into my workout routine or remain healthy. Let me give you guys now the preview. Um, again, here's a before picture and this is now. I 
and no i'm not sucking in my stomach that is literally how my stomach is and i just want to thank everybody who has followed my journey thank you so much i will be recording while i am in the hospital my hospital stay and my recovery um please drop any comments feel free to share your story with me again this is something that is not easy for any woman to be vulnerable and share the vulnerabilities with the world at most but it's something that i know that my testimony can help someone else that is going through the same thing as i am and hopefully this will help you make your decision again consult a doctor consult your OBGYN. i'm not a professional this is just what is help what is going to help me and the solution for me for my condition for my body again i today is wednesday august 17th um, if you are watching this video i will most likely be already admitted to the hospital i will try to stay active on my instagram throughout my hospital stay um follow me on instagram i always leave my hand on the description if you guys have not watched my jimmy video i will also leave that in the description for you guys so you guys can know my story and then you guys can come back and watch this one thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe give this video a huge thumbs up i really truly appreciate you guys and i cannot wait to see you guys on my next video Always remember, stay glowing and growing. Until next time.